Confiscated during the revolution as national goods, the chateau was sold in 1798 to an army provisioner, M. La Chair, resold in 1804 to Marshal of the Empire Jean Lons, and then resold once again, in 1818, to the Parisian banker Jacques Lafitte. Starting in 1834, Lafitte proceeded to develop the surrounding park as building lots, he tore down the fine stables to furnish construction materials for the purchasers. After his daughter, the Princess de la Moscoa, sold the chateau in 1850, it passed to M. Thomas de Colmar, and to the painter William Tillman Grom, who farmed out the small park and demolished the entrance gateway to the forecourt, enclosing the severely reduced space with a wrought iron grill brought from the Chateau de Maly in Picardy. Grom died in 1900. In his last will, he ordered his whole property to the city of Vipuri, which decided to keep his art collection but sell the chateau. In 1905, the state purchased the chateau to save it from demolition. It was classed as a monument historique in 1914.